Canada phone or I send her UK technique work. Canada, Canada winner, huh? Well, of course. So the Lalo on show us dustbin says, see where they keep dustbin. Wait till the dustbin, my people. Not be waiting, you know what? On one thirty is where you want to wait. We can't go to where for dustbin. Your body chair, the darling chair we have before the mattress and the bed and all of that. We go to where for there. My dear, now now I never come up my door. The say he say, uh, uh, hello, good morning. I say good morning. As I see, say the English, they pass with you. Now you come out. Then we call the council. Say we are not supposed to keep it there. That we are going to pay a lot of money. La la na 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 na. He just immediately the man left. You he, he went because we don't know before. So he went to the internet to check uh, check for the is it Bansley council? Bansley like council. the city we are. So he can't check for the council. You will not see what they say. Remove large beans. Then you click. They'll say what kind of bean do you want to throw? Bed. You put, when you put everything, we will show you how and the price. When we put everything, we say we get bed when we watch away, we get chair when we watch away. At the end, total of that price separately is forty pound. Forty something pounds. So to throw away all these things here yeah, now costs forty something pounds, my people. So one good thing about here in Italy is that they have a market where you can take all those things to and sell them at a very affordable rate. Things that you no longer want, you don't want to use, and they are still okay. So things like this, foam, this home, chair, table, television, electronics, in fact, anything that you feel you cannot use, just take it to that market. And the market is usually once in a month. In my own cities, usually on Sundays, I think third Sundays of the month or something like that. I don't know for other cities, though, yeah. But in my own city... I think I've even made a vlog about it and I carried you all along. I showed you guys the market. I showed you guys some things they sell in the market, you know. So that is one good thing about it in Italy. I'm not surprised to see that in UK, the same thing is also applicable. And I think it's applicable to most of the countries here in Europe. That is how their system works. I said it in one of my previous vlogs where I carried you all to the market where they usually sell fairly used stuff. I told you guys that here, yeah, if you throw something away, <laughs> Especially when it comes to things like this, mattress, um, sofa, um, table, television, all those things that are household um, items. If you want to throw them away here, you have to pay. So here, what they usually do, instead of them paying, throw it away, they will just take it to that market and sell it at a very affordable rate. You know, in that way, they are gaining rather than spending money to throw it away. This is one of the culture shock I got when I came here newly. So after watching this video, it just reminded me of my first experience when I came here. When I came here newly, my husband's car then was having fault and he wanted to get a new car. So he wanted to change the car because the car is faulty and at the same time get a bigger car. So he came back one day and said he wants to take the car where they will demolish the car. I was like, why will you demolish the car? Instead of demolishing it, why not pack it? <laughs> so my husband started laughing at me. He said, yeah, there is nothing like that. You cannot keep it because for you to keep it, you have to pay for the space where you pack it. And you cannot throw it away and you cannot even sell it. So what they usually do is to take it to where they will demolish it. And you have to pay. It's not free, my people. <laughs> you have to take it to that place and pay for them to demolish the car. Unless you have container, you want to send it back home. That is the only way that you can decide to, you know, take the car and send it through container back home, which is very, very expensive. And the money it will even cost you to ship the car is equivalent to the money that you will use and buy a new car. So it's of no use trying to even ship it. So you have no option than to go and pay for them to demolish the car. So that is what he did that time. He had to take the car, they demolished it, and then he was able to buy another car. This is how this place works. And I'm sure this same thing is applicable to most of the countries here in Europe. I don't know about any other place, but I know most of the countries in Europe, this same thing is applicable to them. That is how their system runs here. You don't have to throw things anyhow on the road or on the streets or anywhere. You just have to pay. If waste pass uh, all this uh, plastic, humido, humido is... Um, waste from food items you know and then uh, which other waste those ones are free in some parts if you have to pay you pay monthly or yearly as the case may be but i think in this my area is free wow. if waste pass all those ones my people you have to pay to throw it away <laughs> So guys, I'll be ending it. So I just Mommy, yes, my love. So I just saw this video and I just decided to share it with you all and also share my own experience, you know, with you all. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share this video and follow my page for more videos. Bye, guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Ciao, ciao.